Which way am I facing? Self. Actually, I don't want to be self. I want to be... My sound disappeared again. I don't even care if my sound disappeared. I actually don't. At this point, I'm so close to the recording, I don't care. And I know for a fact that it still shows up in the video. It's just not showing up for me. There's a reason I'm going north here. It's because I kind of want to map out this island because I don't remember what's on it. Now nah, change the wind direction anyway. Then after I map out this island, I'll close the session. The session for now, I suppose. Might run into an octa rock. There's something on top of that spire. There's a lot of seagulls there. I might have to try and get that too. Yeah, the fact that that was a day storm seems to suggest there's probably an off rock nearby. Or I was just getting close to the world border. It's weird. The call this game would be way better if you could actually like, cross off the edge of the map and end up on the air side. Because, like, if you were able to do that... It would save so much time having to travel from like one side of the map to the air. Which you never usually have to do anyway, but... What the hell is this island? Alright. Hey, just talking about boats around this island. Of which I'm sure there are several. So what even is this island? Something that requires ice arrows, apparently. Or fire arrows, I should say. Um... Bye. Normal arrows. Alright. There goes that. Not actually sure what's down there. Let's check it out. Because there's a chest on fire over there, too. What the hell is this? Another one? Is this the one with the Triforce chart? Might be. What's that? Oh my god, that's a torch. I can totally get on there. I know I can. There's, there's a weird shot in this game that I know I can perform. It's just very specific about where you have to stand for it. Yeah, it's right there. So what I need to do is I have to actually get... This. Hook shot into the texture a little bit. Because hook shot is like in part of my body, right? So the way this works is what you want to do is you want to just kind of uh, I think I know what I need to do. This is gonna be very, very specific, and I'm gonna to to do some very, very specific shit for it. So I don't remember the setup for this entirely. But let's be where is due to do this real quick, because they put on the iron boots. And they drop a bomb, like right here. And they kind of flip into the side of the structure because I moved so it didn't work perfectly. So you do that. I ain't flipping far enough. 
Okay, that's a speed rare strat. I'm no speed rare, so I can't do that strat, apparently. What you want to do is you want to hook Sean to that and skip the entire dungeon. Which that actually almost worked, but the thing is I have to be further back and over here to do it. Like over here-ish. There's a spot where it can be done, and I'm just not in that spot. Pixel by pixel. Now, if that didn't get it, I'm not in the right spot. Now I'm too far back. Where am I? Another shit right before it. The extra pixel is just not good enough. One. Nah. I may have to do this the intended way, which sucks. Intended way is boring. It really is. And I'm being locked here. I hate when emotion gets locked. That could have been it. I wonder if I can clip into here and nail it. Now oh, the game's being weird. Yeah, because my camera's being blocked by the thing behind me, so the game doesn't want my camera to go up that high. Well, that actually worked. Which is interesting. So I'm 90% sure that should not have worked. So yeah, you get up here. And I'm not entirely sure where to go. Like from here? There's clearly nothing up here. Right? Unless there's something I have to do to make the chest appear. Which, knowing my luck, there probably is. I don't remember this room at all. I don't remember most of the Trap Wars rooms, because well, they're just random bullshit. I think I remember this dungeon. I think I have to light the torch. Let's see if I remember that correctly. If this is a light the torches thing, then I'll fall down. I don't care. There's another one over there, isn't there? But. This is probably a light the torches thing. Which I'm so good at these. Except for the part where I'm not. There's that one. And the others. There's totally one I'm missing. There always is. Question is just where is it? 
All right. I'm gonna sit over here and try to get up here again to see if I can. See the world and whatnot. Camera's being really weird right now. There we are. Really doesn't want you to be able to do that, by the way. Granted, you totally can. Doesn't mean you should, but I do it anyway. Is there are all of those. Which ones am I missing? This is totally a light the torches thing. It's gotta be. Like, I can't really think of any other explanation for why this shit would exist. There's one up there, isn't there? Like, there's one I'm missing. There's really no other explanation for this. Is that it over there? Probably is. Yeah, it's gotta be it. Which it is. Don't run out of magic, please. Oh, come on. Yeah, I managed to hit. There's still one more. Oh my god. This is pretty not good. I will be the first to admit that. I don't like the design of this area at all. Mostly because it seems like it was designed in a way in which I don't understand. Like, I'm not even sure I'm supposed to leave the beginning area outside doing that really weird glitch to get up here. Which isn't even really a glitch. Whatever. Hmm. There's a catapult over there, too. I have no idea what the significance of it is. Like, there's gotta be importance to this area right here. This is the thing. But I don't understand it. I just know there's a bunch of torches here. They're now pretty much lit because I lit them. There's one behind that wall. There might be. Nah, I don't think there is. Should be able to see it if there was. Oh boy. I'm wasting my own time now. I'm sure there's a proper solution to all this that I don't understand. So how do I get back up here? Alright. Well, I can totally hookshot that, that's for sure. Which is funny, because if they didn't want you to get out of this area, they wouldn't have put that there. I don't understand what I'm doing. At all. I really don't. I don't understand why this area exists. I don't understand... ...what I'm supposed to be doing here. What is the point of this area? Like, there's a lot of torches here. Is the thing. Which makes me think that there's... I'm supposed to light them all, but I've only... But I think I've lit them all, or at least all the ones I could possibly see, even getting out of bounds a little bit, and still nothing. So 
just such a weird thing. What is happening? Oh, I can hook Sean to the ledges? Can I now? Why is part of that balcony look shawable? Oh, or was it just that I was getting items? I don't know. To be completely honest here. Might have just been grabbing items. What a mysterious game. El Joko Mysterious. Yeah, I can't look shop through there. Yep, I don't know. Wait a second. Is that a grapple point? It might be. Except for the part where it isn't. No, it's not. If it was a grapple point, I'd be up there already. Alright then, I give up on this area. I'll look that shit up later. I lit like all the torches that I could see. So you can't say I didn't try. Unless I'm supposed to come here first. Like, I really don't understand this area at all. Which should be very apparent. How is the fire not put out? Well, in fact, ice arrows do nothing for that, apparently. So I wonder if you can totally glitch through this. Because almost every Zelda game has a bug where you can totally glitch through these. What I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to hook shot through the flame barrier, but I think they've improved the barriers in this version. I know in Japanese version you can totally do that. Like, I think it just improved the barrier so that it actually repels you and acts as a proper wall. Huh. Well, it's starting now, I just need to see what moon cycle is. Which is way easier when there is not. A storm. God damn it. Actually, if I predicted shit right, it should be at Balm Island, right? Which would be I need to warp to Balm Island real quick. I might get the ghost ship before I leave. Which is good, because I need to stop recording soon anyway. And actually, if I do get the ghost ship, I'm probably going to stop recording immediately. I what am I doing? Um, let's see. I still have no sound, by the way, so... Hopefully it's not on your guys' end, either. Hopefully it's just a weird thing that happens with me. Yeah, the ghost ship is totally on display at Balm Island. What a useful chart. So yeah, I might do one abuse with the ghost ship, and that is getting all the money I need for the rest of the game. It's a very easy abuse to do, by the way. Very simple. What you do is, for starters, you find the ghost ship. Which is currently in this direction. Up here. So you head towards Balm Island for the ghost ship.
So it should be in Ghost Ship area now. Can I see it though? Is that it over there? Very well, maybe. Yeah, it is. So you want to do the ghost ship, you want to sail straight into it. And now here's the exploit of the ghost ship that will be doing for money. Okay, apparently you need to beat these things. Actually, no, you don't. You show the next point so you can skip this whole area. Which I should have been doing. At least I'm pretty sure there's an exploit here. Nah, never mind, there isn't. If there is, then I'm not good at it. This is really hard to do without any sound cues, by the way. And now I've got computer. Which is fantastic. Real great. My eyes. Oh boy. That should take care of him. Did, did not want that to happen. Thank you, game. In case you can't tell, I'm really good at this. Now there's a read out here. Take care of that. Where's all the ghosts at? Also, this wizard robe is gonna piss me off real bad. Why oh, yeah, I use ice arrows? Hey, swap that out real quick. Come on. You're not summoning. Just to let you know. Okay, so that's down now. That was really sloppy on my part, but it's fine. It's completely fine. Well, I wish I had Dark Souls 2 controls to spin the flares. So here's the ghost ship exploit. What you do is you break all these plots because they have a lot of money in it. And then part two of the exploit is what you do is before you open the chest you start, you save, and then you quit. That's step one. Step two is you reload the game. This is a great exploit, by the way. Real good, real solid, works like all the time. Now on reload, what you do is you go back into the ghost ship. you're bad at this. Can we lock onto the whiz rope, please? That's two hits on the whiz rope. 
Just waste rope now. No more hits should kill him. Alright. Sure, is a way to skip like all that fight, but I don't remember how to do it. it might be hook showing the ladder. So basically, what you do is you do that again. Grab all the money. Money is good. Money is great. Money is life. Money is love. And then, without opening the chest, you just continue saving, quitting. And you just basically get all the money you'd ever need for the run. And that's the ghost ship exploit. However, because I'm not a dirty cheating bastard who will do that like five times to get all the money he needs, I'm just gonna grab this and we'll call it a day. Because I need that in my recording and I don't have time to do that like five more times. Especially the way I'm doing it because I'm not doing it right. So yeah, the second you grab that, the ghost ship disappears. But if you continuously save and quit, you can just continuously loot it. It's great. And now it's a day for some reason. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it for my time today. I'm totally going the opposite direction where I want to go. So yeah, we'll call it a day there. And yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed this session. I've had fun with it so far. And yeah. I will see you guys next time I record more Zelda stuff, which will hopefully be sooner than like two weeks from now, because I'm pretty close to the end of the game. I just need to do more random side bullshit, and I can get to the final dungeon. So two more sessions, if I'm lucky. So until next time, I will see you guys later.